In part 1 of this video, we started taking a look at how we can graph parabolas by identifying key points. Let's try this example to see if we can graph it as well. The first thing we like to look for is the direction of the graph, which is based on a, or the coefficient of x squared. Because this coefficient is negative, we have a sad parabola opening down. The next important information we look for is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where x is equal to 0, so all that's left is the c-value, or negative 9. This is the first point on our graph, at negative 9, on the y-axis. Next, we look for the x-intercepts, where the graph crosses the x-axis by making the equation equal to 0. If we have negative 3x squared, plus 12x minus 9 equals 0, we can solve this by factoring. First, we factor out the greatest common factor of negative 3 to get x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Continuing to factor, we get negative 3 times x minus 3, x minus 1 equals 0. We can set each factor that has a variable in it equal to 0 to find what the two x-intercepts are. Adding 3 tells us that x is equal to 3, and this is the first x-intercept on our graph. Adding 1 will give us our second x-intercept on the x-axis at x equals 1. The only key point left to find is the vertex. We, we decided the vertex could be found by first finding the x-coordinate at the opposite of b over 2a. Recalling from the quadratic formula where a, b, and c are, back to the original equation, b is going to be 12, giving us negative 12 over 2a, or negative 3. This is negative 12 over negative 6, which reduces to 2. 2 is the x value. To find y, we just have to replace each of the x's with 2. Negative 3 times 2 squared, plus 12 times 2, minus 9. Doing exponents first, we get negative 3 times 4, plus 12 times 2, minus 9. Multiplying gives us negative 12, plus 24, minus 9. Adding from left to right, negative 12 plus 24 is 12, minus 9 is 3. y equals 3. The vertex, as an x-y pair, is at 2, comma, 3. Plotting the point 2, comma, 3 on our graph, knowing that's where the graph will change directions, we can connect the dots to get that upside-down parabola u-shape that we were expecting, from our shape. To graph a parabola, we have to identify all this important information. The direction, if the a is positive or negative, the y-intercept, which comes from our c, the x-intercept, which comes from the equation equaling 0, and the vertex, which has two parts. First, the x-coordinate, which is the opposite of b over 2a, and the y-coordinate, which we find by plugging our value in for x. This gives us the point where the graph will change directions. By finding this key information, you can quickly graph a parabola.